Hello and welcome to the next, here's my video. This one is about spaceship design in general. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and then we're going to build a little spaceship up here. Or here actually because this place is nicer. Um, so things you want to keep in mind when you're building a spaceship. Um, places to put life support. Very important. Because you, it's probably not a good idea just to be shoving it randomly on the ship. Um, also, things to keep in mind, uh, don't make it too big or it will lag, and it won't be able to move very easily either. Um, so pretty, I'm going to keep it pretty small, not too small because that wouldn't be any fun. But. So I'm going to spawn, how, how, what kind of ship am I going to make? I don't know. We'll see. Um, hmm. Some of these. Okay. I, I I just I just don't know what this is going to be, but all right, spawn two of these. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what you make yours out of or what skin you use. I'm just kind of going right now. Um, so if I do that, put a cockpit up front. Oops, not ship parts, station parts. Yeah, all the uh, good cockpits aren't station parts. So like that. And then I want a splitter. Whoops. That's not right. That's right. Okay. Also, a good thing to do is to arrange your parts in the order that you want them to be in before you start, you know, randomly building. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, put this here. Put this here. Then I'm going to want one of these. want an X joint for the center. Also, it's really easy to make things look, you know, pretty good in this, because they're all just a bunch of pre-made parts, so... Let's, and... A... And... Oh, if that's gonna work out quite right. I don't think it is. Okay. So... Well, let's try it. Um... I spawn a panel instead. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, this, you can build yours however you want. I'm gonna build mine as I have been building mine. Because I like it. I, I don't know. It's just, it's just a random design. Um, yeah, pretty much all you need to do is you need to keep in mind uh, the place where you want to be. This is gonna be my cockpit. The hallways, which usually which really aren't that important. They're mostly just for aesthetics, and then the life support section, which it generally, which actually doesn't have to be a very big area because the life support things are pretty small compared to these pieces, um, especially if you just use ZPMs. But you know, don't. It's, it's no fun. And finally, I'm going to go to ship parts because, or not those ship parts, these ship parts because they have these engine parts that look cool in it. Oops, bad. Oh, which one do I want? Uh, the, uh, that one's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna assemble my spaceship now. And if you don't remember to assemble, right click on one part, right click on another part, click on one, click on the other, and it'll move it and snap it and hold it. Give me a second to build this. Alright. Oh, it actually fits. <laughs> I was just kind of hoping that would fit. Okay, put this there, put this on the end, not that it's actually necessary, and put this on the very end. Alright, that is the spaceship. Maybe it's not the best looking spaceship ever, but that's okay. It doesn't really have to be. Now I'm going to get out another part. This is going to be uh, the multi-parent tool. If you don't have this, we don't need this, but it's a very nice thing to have. So I'm going to select everything, and then look weld, and parent it all to that piece. So now, it all acts as one prop, um, which is very nice when you're, you know, making a spaceship, because that way you don't have to worry about smart welding, because smart welding creates more lag than parenting does, so I just parent things. Um, freeze everything just in case. Now, uh, I'm going to explain the spaceship a little bit. Obviously this is going to be the engine life support, cockpit. I'm probably going to put some uh, other various life support things along these hallways, such as, or not like along these hallways. Like I'm going to have like life support things here so that, like, you can, you know, breathe, which is nice. Um, 
and things like that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to spawn my life support first. So uh, a couple of guidelines for life support. You need five oxygen per second, and you know that means you don't actually need that much because one of these huge tanks holds uh, fifty thousand, which means you have roughly you know ten thousand seconds to breathe, which is a uh, pretty, but it's probably longer than you're going to end up playing Gary's mod at one time. You know, put this on here because that's you know what I need. Secondly, I'm gonna put a battery. Or oh, not yeah, that's a little bit too big. Uh, put the uh, large battery. No, I want the huge. Yes, that that's the right size. Huge there. Then I'm going to put my resource node on top. Then I'm going to put a uh, water tank. You don't need water to survive in space, but if you go to any sort of like lava planet, I'll see if there's one on this map. I don't know exactly. Uh, I don't see any. Oh no, there. That box is suspiciously like a lava planet. But if you go to a lava planet, you will need the water, so I'm just going to put a small tank on here. Also, keep in mind the bigger your ship is, the more it will lag, so don't make it too big. Um, if that's big enough. Alright, so, got off your smart link tool. Make it all to that. Now we have the storage. I'm going to put solar panels on top just because those are super easy to do. So pick up my solar panels. A huge circle. That's the right size. Okay. But I'm going to put two of these on, actually. They don't look very good, but, you know, they, they, they work well, so it doesn't really matter. They don't generate that much energy unless they're, like, pointed perfectly at the sun, in which case they generate tons of energy. It's not happening here. Um, if you if you really need to fill it legitimately, I mean, the fastest way to get power is really wind generators. They create like 7,000 about a second, which is lots. These things are jointly making about two per second, which means they're making one each. Um, and shields take a lot to run. You don't need shields, but if you want to use shields, be prepared to have lots of power. Or be prepared to need lots of power. Another th option is the or are the Nakoda generators from the Stargate menu. There are just pretty much how you use them. You place them, you link them to the node, and then you press use on them, and they will start to generate power, as you see. Uh, they do have a limited amount of power generation capabilities, but to refill their Nakoda, which is the thing they use to generate power, you right click, and it will refill some of it. You can do that every 30 seconds. Um, that's, you know, the basics for this little section. Um, I know I said I was going to talk about spaceship design, so I'm just going to do one thing now. I'm going to do life support. Uh, these life support generators, not generators, these, um, uh, air exchangers, also always use the large ones, because even the large ones are rather small. The climate regulators, I believe, are broken in this version of space build, so I'm just going to... Hmm, why, why am I falling? Anyway, I'm going to link these to this, and these will just provide life support to an area. Uh, by the way, Air Exchanger only ex provides air. Heat Exchanger, however, provides energy and water, which is which means you need a Heat Exchanger even if you don't plan on going to a lava planet. Another option for life support is you can just link a chair, and it will receive the same life support that you would if you were just using these, except for it's just on the chair, and if you get out, you'll have issues. Oh, great, right, one more thing. Gravity plating. Uh, if you get out of your spaceship normally, uh, there will be no gravity, because, you know, that's, I don't know, that's, just, that, that's how space works in this game. But anyway, um, uh, multi-parent. Not? Okay. Um, yeah, there will be no gravity unless you put gravity plating on. I usually do, because it's nice to have gravity if you get out of your chair. I mean, you usually don't in my experiences, because it's not like you do like repairs on the fly with the size of a ship. Um, but it, I don't know, if you did. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Also keep in mind that you want places to put your weapons, like here would be a good place, because that way they could fire past my the front of my ship without actually you know hitting the front of my ship. I don't know, that's it for this time, so thanks for watching and goodbye.